Hey there, Buzzy Beautiful Sunshine Nugget. That's the new name I've got for you. Buzzy Beautiful Sunshine Nugget. I thought it was perfect for you. And besides, I've been thinking of a lot of things. Okay, okay. So one, I thought it'd be a great idea if today we finally did something really romantic and cool. Though there's one thing I gotta handle. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's just someone reached out to me. And big-hearted me just couldn't say no. I don't know how to sometimes, so I, I just gotta give it a chance, okay? No chance that they're being serious. Otherwise, what if I said no? No to someone who really needed the help. Really needed someone there, a hero. Someone that can save them. I can't live with myself if I, uh, if I turn them down. It'd be such a shame to see them sad. I'm no good with things like that. I'm better with drawing you and I on our honeymoon. Would you believe it? I drew this yesterday. How do you like it? Oh yeah, I put in all the details of this one. It took me a total of 12 hours. 12 hours thinking about you and, uh, <clears throat> careful on page 12 and beyond. You might see something a little sketchy. Well, I think you'll like it if you understand it. You already know, it's the, uh, the special bonding portion. I promise I'm only doing this for you, though. I mean, maybe in the past I used to have a bit of a side to me, back when me and Minetta, oh, those were some crazy days. <laughs> but honestly, I think he's kind of the same as me. In that we both kind of got carried away with our loneliness and, well, now that I've found you, I, I don't really look at anyone else. There's too many awesome things to learn about you. I mean, just look at you. You're amazing. And you always have these witty things you come up with. Okay, maybe it doesn't seem witty to you, but it seems extra witty and cool to me. So, be exactly who you are and don't change a dang thing on your body because that would be, well, uh, a shame. And you don't want to change anything about yourself too. Like, I guess I'm redundant, but I mean that I really like who you are and I want you to be, be mine. I know, I know, I know, I've done it a few times. But this time I'm serious. So, I was thinking today, we could abruptly have it. Y you know, uh, the page 12 with the unique bonding time. No, no, not just that this time. I thought maybe we could, uh, plan our big day. <laughs> I mean, we gotta discuss what we have there and who we invite and, and when it actually is and what we do for our honeymoon and if we want a family and things like that. There's so many things to talk about and I just, for once in my life, I don't really have a doubt. You're the one who takes all the doubts away, you know? And I want you to know that. That I'm 100% for this, for you and for us. Uh, the sparky, sparky boy here will give you everything he's got. And, well, if you're okay with it, Maybe I could be your sparky, sparky husband, too. You know, I gotta try. Otherwise... <laughs> well, I know you love me and stuff, but I just... I don't want it to stop going up, if that makes sense. I want us to be even closer. And even more epic together. And I want to be that much cooler for you. And... A whole bunch of other things, too. Hopefully I'm not 
redundant or sounding like a sparky, sparky, boom, boom, no brain dummy. <laughs> That'd probably be a Bakugo thing. No offense, Tim. That, that guy is too angry. Aren't you glad I'm not like him? <laughs> I'm more like sparky, sparky, boom, boom, right to the heart. And plus, I know how to appreciate you. Not sure he knows how to appreciate the one that he might love. Though somehow, I have this feeling that he's really jealous of how awesome you are. <laughs> Don't let him bother you. And well, you know, he'll sort out his life. We got our life to worry about. So, um, today, why don't we go on a walk? I know, so daring, right? Almost as daring as that one sushi piece. Never mind. I just thought we could go on a walk and figure out where we wanted to do things and what we wanted to do for our wedding. <laughs> I know it's still in the early planning phases, but I wanted you to know that I'm I'm doing everything I can for it. And that I'm, well, really, really serious about it. I would never joke around about this. I'm dead serious. So dead that I'm a zombie. Yeah. I even added it to the comic there, see? Now this is just an example and, you know, I, I just thought it would, you know, get you, uh, excited, like me, if you weren't already. Since I realize I probably proposed to you, it's just like, I did it too many times, it, it one time was like practice, and then I got nervous, uh, you know. Now this, the last time was for real. I'll be there with you forever. You got that? I sure hope so, because I wouldn't know what to do if you said no. Then all those future planned issues of my ultra mega cool comic would... They... They just die right there. And I... Lose the love of my life. <laughs> I've... Never loved someone like you. You know? As much as I do. You make me happy. And I... Uh, it's embarrassing to say, but I can't imagine a day without you anymore. Whenever I do, it's just too sad. Too sad and empty. And then my buzzing, buzzing heart, ripe with electrical glory, ends up simmering down to just a spark. And then when I think of you again, it goes into a roaring thunderbolt. L lightning bolt. Y you know, thunder is just the sound, but... <laughs> I'm not hopeless. Except for being hopelessly in love with you. <laughs> I got a little bit of spark left in me. But that's only because you give me such a jolt. Okay, enough puns. I'm just... Well, I have trouble when it comes to looking at you, because you make my heart flutter and I get nervous, you know? Someone as beauty cool as you? Sorry, just, uh, Kiri the other day said it and I thought it was a cool one. But at least he doesn't have buzzy beautiful sunshine nugget. That's... Courtesy of yours truly. And besides, today's gonna be awesome. It might just be a walk, but it's a walk with the coolest person in the world. But the question is, was I talking about you or me? Which one of us is the coolest? That's the real question. Will we get to the bottom of it? Probably. But I wonder. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe someday, maybe not today. Let's get a move on.
do 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 boo 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 That's the spirit and the fresh air Ah it's great And if you'd like to hold my hand <laughs> I guess I'm that kind of nerd that still gets uh embarrassed to hold your hand cuz uh you know, it's a little bit of a big deal to me still, and I hope it's a big deal to you too. All right, let me jot all this down, and bam, it says, you're a buzzy, beautiful sunshine nugget. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got a little carried away. So, so, I was thinking, what if we had our wedding at the coolest place in the entire city? At the arcade. I know, before you say it, it's not the most romantic place. That's why it's only half the, half the battle. <laughs> I wouldn't just suggest something so base, come on. I got nervous there for a moment. You wouldn't like the idea at all, so I, I thought of about 12 different other ones. They're all written here. So, anything jumping out at you? I thought the park might be good if it's got good weather for the day. But then, I thought the Grand Cathedral. Then I thought it might be too traditional. Then you think I'm uptight. Then there's the Island Paradise. It's the most expensive, but you know, I I don't mind saving <laughs> or being a little in debt until I work it off as number seven. Ooh, do you think I can make it to number six? I know I can with good effort and studying. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Back in UA, I couldn't have imagined I would have made it this far. I was kind of the class clown along with Minetta and I just, I know I mentioned that, like, not even five minutes ago, but the point is, I, I'm proud of where I got, and I'm proud to be with you, and I hope you're proud to be with me, too. <laughs> you can always be honest if I uh, do anything wrong. Really? You mean it? That's great. Are you sure about this location? I mean, it is endearing. I don't mind anywhere. As long as you're happy with it, you can color me impressed. I mean, happy. Happy, impressed, impressed? You know, the usual. I just am madly in love with you. <laughs> and, well, I... I need you to know something. I may have to do something kind of dangerous. But you know, that's hero work, right? But I wanted to let you know. I've got our wedding to look forward to. So I won't let you down. And if you're too worried, you can come along with me. It's not like it's something you can't. It's just like... It'd be difficult to uh, explain without showing you. So, um, well, we're, we'll worry about that later, okay? For now, let's get a bite to eat. Why don't we get a sample, like one dish from each restaurant around here, and we get a taste test. See which one we want to cater to our wedding. I'm sure they'd love to cater to the number seven. I've got a reputation, after all. Pretty good reputation at that. If I can sap my own horn. <laughs> no, that, that doesn't really work. I'll, I'll just stop with the, the electricity ones. <laughs> Is it bad that I like that look? That kind of scornful look you make every time you're judging me? <laughs> Does that make me a bad person? No, no, I, I know I'm not. I, I just... What do you mean by that? Are you saying... 
Well, I can't explain. So I'll do what the beauty cool and the beauty buzzy, s beautiful sunshine. You know what? Hmm. <laughs> now you can't find me uncool. Can you? I sure hope not. <laughs> From now on, if I ever trip on my words, I'm gonna kiss you. Just a warning. Doesn't matter where we are. I'm gonna really go for it. Hope you don't mind. Sorry, I just uh, lost my words there, so I thought maybe... <laughs> and there I was just, you know, in a train of thought, and then I lost it, so I just, you know, kind of went with the flow of things. Kind of like there. Am I abusing things? <laughs> of course not. Why would I abuse my buzzy, beautiful sunshine nugget? Come on. <laughs> I'd much rather make you smile, blush, look at me funny. <laughs> They're all a little better. So, first stop is this lovely, uh, what is this place again? Do you know? Ah, it looks like French cuisine. I like this stuff. I thought about going to a cooking school if, well, if things didn't work out with UA. <laughs> Not that I'm any good at cooking as is. It was just kind of one of those pipe dreams, you know? Got to dream somewhere. I thought maybe the electricity could, you know, boil water or something. <laughs> It was a pretty long shot. Well, I'm just glad things worked out, you know? Everything seems to work out in the end. You just gotta keep your head up and keep plugging away and actually take notes after class or during it. You know, I made it harder on myself than it needed to be, but <laughs> all's well that's end that ends well. Yeah, that's it. So. Are you excited to try some nice food with me? I'm excited to see your face when you taste it. I judge everything based on face reaction. Otherwise, it's not gonna end up as good, you know? Besides, I'd take any excuse to spend more time with you. Sometimes I just start spouting out words, hoping that you'll enjoy them and maybe I take up too much of the space of audio and stuff. I mean, it's just that I can't get enough of you. And frankly, I don't think I ever will. That's why I want to marry you. <laughs> One of the many reasons. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them. Like how good of a listener you are. And whenever I ask for advice, you know just what to say. Okay, okay, I'm going to test you. All right, babe. Uh, What should I order? The... Foie gras and toast? You know what? I'll give it a try. Let's do this. What are you having, babe? Interesting. I like the bravery. I've never been much one for escargot, though. I figure it's, you know, probably kind of slimy. Not the nicest. I like more elegant food. Fluffy, nice, cute things. Cute things, please. I don't know if this would be considered cute or not, but I'm gonna try it out. We'll make it really good, okay? It's gonna be so good that it zaps your tongue like a lightning bolt. I, I believe. I mean, you did give me the advice after all, so... I'm just ready to go, ready, rare, and great, and like revving like a motorcycle. Speaking of which, those things are kind of scary, aren't they? Like, I feel like if I got one, I'd end up crashing it and having to use some kind of magnetic thing to prevent myself from getting injured. You know, injuries aren't my idea of a good time. 
So I'll just try and avoid them. Oh, wow, look at that, the food's here already. Wait, we were supposed to split something. Oh man, well, I guess if we eat a bit and take the rest home. Maybe not. We'd have to lug it around all day and we have to decide on wedding things. That's right. There's a lot to look forward to. I'm so excited. I'm practically shaking. I'm practically full of static electricity. Did you know? That's the secret to my electricity. It's all stored in my hair. So if I put my feet on the rug and then brush it back and forth and then poke you, you'll probably get 100,000 volts of electricity and maybe get knocked out or die. I'm just kidding. I can control it, kind of. Not fully, obviously, but it's a work in progress. I don't always control it well, but when I do, it's superb. And doesn't zap everyone around me. It's not usually uncontrolled. I've gotten a little better lately. It's like controllable, but if you're driving one of those cars in a video game that's really messed up, so it ends up like really hard to control. That's how I'd assume it's like for someone who doesn't have my power. <laughs> See, I can do some pretty good explaining tactics when I, uh, when I want to. But honestly, I wanna know how you feel. I'm always talking up a storm, but I don't give you a chance to shine all the time. Hey, this is pretty good. So, you can lay it on me. How do you feel about all this? Am I going too fast? I always dread it, you know. Because I, like, think about it. But then... Then I realized that sometimes thinking doesn't work when you have someone so amazing right in front of you and I, I all my notes just end up being <laughs> kind of useless. Because then I get flustered. You're the only one who can really do that, you know? I don't regret it, though. You're... Worth it. Every single time. And I'm happy to be with you. I've been happy from the start, you know. <laughs> it may not seem like it. At times I might seem maybe a little over the top, but it's only because I'm so proud and so happy to be by your side. <laughs> if there's anything after this life's end. I want to follow you through that. And we can be lovers even then. That's the kind of love I have for you. Maybe I've read too many manga. And maybe that makes me a complete and total nerd. But I want to be with you forever. Not just now, not just later. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And I know I'm talking and we should be eating and planning wedding things. But honestly, I had to say it. Came to my heart. And I don't back down on things that come to my heart. I don't compromise and I don't let anyone tell me what to feel. I just feel it. You probably know me well enough by now to understand that. I don't hold back. I don't even know how. I don't think I could ever hold back in something I believe in. <laughs> and well, if you've taught me anything, it's that I gotta believe in myself more and really nail this thing. I'm not gonna mess up the one chance I have to be happy. And maybe that makes me sound desperate. But baby, I'm desperate if it means being with you forever. And then some. I hope there's some kind of system 
in place in the universe. Or maybe that somehow we end up living forever because technology? I don't really care the means. I just don't ever want to say goodbye. I'm scared of it, you know? I suck at saying goodbye. Always have, always will with people I like. And people I love. It's always the worst kind of feeling. I don't like it one bit. And honestly, I'll never say goodbye to you. I'll just say see you later. Or better yet, see you soon. That way, I never have to be sad. Because I know I would feel terrible and just... I'd sulk and make a lot of comics of you. And probably just sulk some more. But sulking aside, I I hope you can see why it is that I, I care so much. And why you mean so much to me. Or at least that I'm being serious about it. <laughs> I... I try and make it cool all the time. But sometimes I can't do cool. And I gotta do real. This is one of those times. <sighs> Excuse me, it was just a bite. <laughs> you can take a bite too if you want. Ah, that's the spirit. Now, as I was saying, there's more to me than meets the eye. I know. Surprising how I have such mysterious and great charms. I just know how to make the world more exciting. Okay. But seriously? You've made me question a lot of my life. What I stand for. What I want. What I live to be. And really, I can't get enough of you. I just... Needed to say it. Cause baby... I'll be your... Sparky boy for life. Hopefully, your sparky man. Wait, I already said your sparky husband. I'm getting carried away here. But you get the point, don't you? It's... All so much to me. All of this time that we spend and all that we do, even if we're eating something like... The it's all really important to me. And I I need you to know it. I need to prove it to you so you can give me any challenge you want. Just like on our first time meeting. Okay, not meeting, but first time we kind of went on a date, remember? I challenged you to a bunch of things. I want that challenge in our life too. So let's say before we stop at the next place, we go and do some good old-fashioned challenges. I want to rematch you. <laughs> I thought it's best to do it now before I lose heart. I thought at first, if I impressed you, maybe you'd think I'm cooler than I was back in UA. And now, it inspired me to become someone more. Someone who you can respect and someone who you can love. Trust and hopefully enjoy a good cup of tea with. I do really like tea. And that expensive sushi, it looks so delicious. Someday, we'll have so much sushi that we'll be able to make a house of sushi for like a half hour and then eat it all. Actually, a half hour might be pushing it because it, it would. I think you best eat it in like five minutes after you get it. I'm getting off topic. Look, babe, I need you. And I just need you to need me too. And I hope that the competition is something that you don't mind doing with me. There's so much to it. So many things we can do. I'm so excited I could barely eat my foie gras. <laughs> You know, well, foie gras has a crazy name. It's actually not what you'd probably think it is. Did you know that it's liver? I don't usually like liver, but this is one exception. Hmm. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that one. 
Yeah, me neither. It's okay, though. Sometimes you just gotta get the foie gras to have a good day. Okay, so it's not that simple. Anyways, are you almost done with your meal? We could always head to the next place. <laughs> mm -mm. I think I've fallen in love once again with food this time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was you. So, well, I was hoping you'd spend some time time before we get to the next place and that we could do what we were talking about and and do the competition come on don't tell me you're scared I'm sure I could give you a run for your money but well no I'm not nervous of getting beat come on you only beat me really soundly last time, so, uh, I guess I'm a little scared. I would never admit that. You just got lucky this time, punk. <laughs> I'm only joking with you, yeah, you know. I thought you really had me there. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've got a cool new idea. It starts with you and ends with me. I mean, uh, no, I did that backwards. Anyways, we're already here. Would you believe it? The best place ever. The arcade. But not just any arcade. The arcade of all arcades. Are you excited? I'm so excited. You have no idea. I've been waiting to take you here for so long that I didn't have the courage because I thought that maybe if I took you here, it would make you think that I'm just a complete and total, uh, you know, hopeless geek. But, you know, I'm glad that you don't think that way. I just, you know, you gotta be careful about these things. When you got someone as beauty cool as you, you can't really botch things up or else your confidence in yourself takes a bit of a hit. So... I was hoping maybe we could start with something familiar. Like maybe... Hmm... Not Mortal Wombat. Not even Resonant Weevil. Huh. What's the best one? Do you got a favorite game? Maybe it's... Street Mania! I really like that game. Who thought a game that would be just Walking down the street would be so fun. I mean, the streets are pretty decorative, and it makes you think you're walking in real life, so I thought, well, we should see who has the fancier walk. Yeah, I know you probably do, but I at least gotta try, for my dignity is your man. And for the sake of not completely embarrassing myself, <laughs> Believe it or not, I care about being embarrassed. <laughs> I might just play it off as something else, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't uh, severely affect me. <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyways, before we get too distracted, don't you worry. I'm gonna see to it that you're properly taken care of. You know, once I beat you so bad you get put in the hospital. Unless, well, no, it's not really that. I don't actually care if I win or lose that much. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not true. I just said that because uh, I was trying to... to something. It, shut up. I'm not... <laughs> Darn it. You're really making this difficult on me, aren't you? But honestly, that's what I like about it. It's never too easy with you. Well, except for when, well, we have a good time. It's really easy to enjoy myself 
and I'll just keep going on and on in my brain and wait I'm rambling let's get to the match <clears throat> not a bad walk you got there how do you do it I find it so hard to control because you got to make them move their individual legs and and then you got to wrap them around like that and make them do something that's kind of inhuman looking you know the usual with most games so uh, come on I gotta show you how cool I am I can't get distracted can't get distracted wait why are you making such a cute face that's not fair isn't that cheating judge wait we don't have a judge what do we do now? I didn't prepare for this. Now I gotta bring out the big guns. Yeah, you like that? That's my coolest walk ever. I hope you're ready for it. Otherwise, you're gonna get so surprised. Then you won't know what to do. That's just the way it has to be. You got that? <laughs> Don't hate me now. Uh, don't hate me later either. That'd be too sad. Wait, I got distracted. Your walk. No, I, you, we. How could this be I'm foiled again by such a beauty cool, by such a fuzzy, beautiful sunshine nugget? I can't handle this. Go on without me. I'll just survive after next round I beat you. <laughs> just you wait. I've got more where that came from. You didn't actually think I was going to give up, did you? I don't have it in my body or soul to give up, so don't go counting me out. <laughs> That's how it works with Kaminari Denki. Is it cheesy when I say my name like that? All right, watch how a pro handles this game. And look at that stride. Look at that walk. Yeah, I mean it's round two in the same game, but I figured a rematch, you know, cause I, you know what? It's fine. You. You don't mind doing another round of this, do you? There's a lot more we could play after. And look at my swag walk. Isn't it cool? It's how I walk everywhere. In real life, too. You just don't see it. That's why it's the secret. I hope you're ready for this. I've got so much to do. It's all you. All you walk it, do that swag thing. Come on, little Denki. Come on. That's it. Little Denki's doing it. Are you getting nervous yet? Look at those points go up. Nope. Almost fell down there. I gotta watch you. You seem to want to foil me. Huh. I won't let you have this that easy. Unless. Oh, no. It's getting dangerous. I gotta be careful, otherwise... My swagger walk, it might not win. No. Not like this, that corner. I gotta turn it just right and... Oh. Well, let's see if I get enough bonus points to beat you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Seriously, come on. Uh, so close, yet so far away. This is physically painful, you know. But at the same time, if I have to lose to someone, it might as well be the best person to lose to. Just no, I'm not giving up on this. You better, you better understand that I'm, I'm cool, dang it. 
And cool doesn't break like that. Hmm. That's right. I've got stuff for days. And by stuff, I mean uh, the next challenge. Let's go. So, I was thinking the next one could be something extra cool. Like this game. Da -da -da. How do you like it? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool for the most part. I don't really know what it is. It seems like it's a uh, reckon. It sounds like something I've played before, but ah, I think I get it. Reckon's a little bit interesting. We'll have to make it really cool. Our, our match will be the legendary match, I think. But I'm gonna beat you, I think. I mean, I know, obviously. You think I would make a claim without knowing that I could? Come on. What do you take me for, fool? <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. Just you wait. Here we go. <laughs> I'll pick this one. Then you can do that. And a little bit of this. And bam. What do we got? Not too shabby. You're pretty good at this. Why are you so good? I don't think I approve of this. You're giving me... Ugh. That's not fair. You gotta be kidding me. Are you some kind of wrecking pro? I don't know what I'm doing here. If I can't beat you like this, I'm gonna beat you at anything. And, well, I mean, I'm just getting started. Ha, huh. you thought that was my final form? Nah, I have a lot of cool forms. And of course, by that I mean, round two is the thing. So don't get overconfident. Why are you giggling? I mean, it's, it's completely adorable, and I love it, but that doesn't mean that you get to make light of me. Hmm. I'll show you. It, uh, you got that? Ha! <laughs> Told you I could do good. Now we just gotta... Huh? Oh, no. No, not like this. I don't think that you're supposed to play like that. That's, uh, that's against the rules. Come on, babe. Mercy. Uh, uh, mommy? Um, daddy? Uh, uncle? I don't remember which one it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're gonna... Oh, you did it. You did it. I can't do that. Dang it. Uh, what do I do? I'm now at the mercy of such a cutie. You beat me two rounds out of three, so I guess we'll call it your win this time. I was having a lot of fun, though. I hope we can come back here another time. Maybe after our wedding <laughs> I've got so many plans trust me we'll never run out of things to do that you can bet on you know what else is awesome about me <laughs> I can take a defeat like what just happened and turn it into something cool wanna see how <laughs> it's pretty simple really you just gotta want it enough that's, uh, that's what I'd like to say, <laughs> but, well, 
it's that and the fact that I have undying love for you and the fact that I'm Kaminari Denki. <laughs> Nobody can compete with that. So, how about for the place of our wedding? We do it in the most cool of places. Kamikat! <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that one. So, would you like to do it? The biggest Dojin sales place ever? It's the perfect place to get married. Because I feel like the first thing that got you sort of understanding me was the fact that I make these. That I made a comic of you. And I feel like it's a big part of our relationship. So I hope that somehow it can really channel into, well, our big day. Maybe not the whole one. We could have a formal one after. Just, I thought, a weeby wedding? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know how many people would kill for that? Well, eh, maybe not as many as I'm saying, but I think a lot of people would, you know? It would be awesome, and I... <laughs> I may be a little biased. Just a tad. Not a lot, though, right? I'm not too biased. Most of the time. <laughs> Well, anyways, why don't we head home? I know we were supposed to take the other places and get taste tests and stuff, but I had a better idea. I'd rather get a taste of you. <laughs> no, just those sweet lips, see? <laughs> and I kind of stuffed myself at the last restaurant. <laughs> Go figure, right? I thought I wouldn't need to worry about it, and then I realized <laughs> it was just a tad bit too much food and just a tad bit too much uh, excitement for one day. Getting my butt handed to me, <laughs> you know, the usual. But next time, for sure, I'm going to beat you. Just wait. On our wedding day, I'll beat you at something. <laughs> You'll never guess what. And I'm not telling. <laughs> How's that for revenge? That way you're at my mercy. <laughs> Do you like evil villain Denki? Because I might turn out a villain. Oh, I think I could do a pretty good impression of that Shigaraki guy. <laughs> you know, I just wonder how he, uh, how he manages to not have an injury when he uh, reads Oshinchi? <laughs> well, never mind. That's probably not the right thing to ask. <laughs> and, well, we're home. Honey, we're home, and I just told you that. So, so, now. Let's get to the good part. Going in, lounging in the kitchen. Okay, I might have just wanted a sweet. But what I want more than the sweet is my sweet. Okay, I probably spent way too much time thinking about that one. But it doesn't matter, right? It got you just a little, didn't it? Come on, play those heartstrings for me. I want you to feel special and happy and wonderful and awesome and cool and beauty cool and all those things, so... Well... <laughs> ADHD, be damned! I'm gonna make a cutie... Uh, well, have a good night with me. <laughs> if you'll have me, that is. I got plenty of things I want to show you. I mean, after we spend some time doing the things we... Well, you know, these feelings I have for you, I... I sometimes don't know how to express them. And that's why I talk like a jumbled mess. 
It makes me kind of anxious. Okay, more than kind of. I get hyperactive, and I also get paralyzed with fear, thinking that you're gonna think I'm not cool. <laughs> what are the chances, right? Besides, I... I don't want you thinking that... The reason why I like you is because... Of anything other than true love. <sighs> Baby. I'm so serious about you. <laughs> and I... I just... I want you so bad. So won't you humor me? And let me treat you like a real sparky gentleman. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I need some help. But maybe you can help me. So what will it be, doctor? You gonna give me that medicine? Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> ah. What tasty skin you have. Sweeter than my dessert. Then again, I guess you are my dessert. I like leaving marks on you. That way, everyone gets the idea. You're mine. Pika Pika. <laughs> Can't get enough of that sweet neck of yours. <laughs> Do you like getting eggies? I sure hope so. There. Good as new. Sometimes I just like whispering in your ear, telling you how much I want you to feel, how much I want you to think about me, and how much I, I need you. <sighs> Oh, baby, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Why don't you? Go ahead. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Don't really. Just... Uh, well... I couldn't complain at that. I... Guess you put your mouth where your words are. Uh, 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 not bad, honey. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. You're putting yourself to such good work. 
You're practically an artist of making me feel amazing. Uh, yeah. Use those. You're really good. No, oh, that was very cool of me. You're not making this. <laughs> not giving me a chance to fight back, are you? I'm <laughs> seeing you down there. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, 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 u
something nice planned for you. I hope you don't mind. I might just get a little carried away. <laughs> nah. Where were we? You getting folded like this? And me looking over you. Letting my body rest against yours. Do you like when I tease you there? With my... <laughs> oh. Yeah. You feel that? <sighs> my heartbeat against yours. My lust and love for you. All mixing, melding with our lovely little mixture of our own want. Oh, do you like that sound? That sound when I rub against you. Now, time to plunge deep inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. This angle's so naughty. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I know you like that. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, darling. Yeah, yeah, oh yes. Can't get enough of you. No, well, guess I might have overdone it, but you know, you gotta do your best in this life, right? Can't waste time with half hearted efforts. And besides, I. I really enjoyed myself today. Everything today was just great and awesome and. Frankly, I want to do it again every day, and that's why I want to, I want to marry you. You're too amazing not to. And I'd feel bad if I just, well, if I didn't give you everything. It wouldn't feel right. Doing anything half-hearted. And there's just no point to it. You gotta go all the way. 
That's the only way. <laughs> At least it is to me. Besides, you're, well, too amazing to just, to just stop halfway. Any, anyway, I just thought that, well, maybe if it's not too much, would you like to cuddle? And maybe, well, we could have a rematch. After all, I think I won this match. And knowing you, you're going to want to try me again. <laughs> well, do your worst then. I'll face you any day. <laughs> And I'll show you how much I got. How much heart and otherwise. And... Oh, crud. I forgot to get done what I needed to today. <laughs> I was supposed to go... See... Someone, but you know what? I regret nothing. Let's have a good time now. Shall we?